I love love, and nothing makes me happier than helping my amazing single colleagues find their perfect match. So tonight, I thought we'd play one of my absolute favorite games right here on the show. This is Late Late Live Tinder. It's Late Late Live Tinder. And tonight, let me tell you, we are in for a treat, guys. Because the person we are setting up on a date is extremely near and dear to all of our hearts. We absolutely love her. She's been at the show since day one. We would be absolutely lost without her. We're going to find her love tonight. Give a warm welcome to Susan from the audio department. Let's do it. OK. Right here, Susan, this way. Okay. Susan, this way. I know you work in sound, but those are the yes. cameras and we're okay. on it right now. <laughs> OK. When it comes to a partner, what are we looking for? Kindness. Mm. Honesty. Mm. Reliability. OK, you know this is a game where you can only I know, see their faces, right? I know, it's not even right? going to matter. Be... Listen, I am very, very confident about this. And can I say this? Yes. Do you know how much we all love you on this show? <laughs> you are... Top of the tree. All right. Thank you. Here's how the game works. Men will come out one at a time you, and using this foam finger. Thank you, Alan, you glorious ball of sex. You will, <laughs> you will wear this finger. You okay. will swipe right if you like the guy and left if you don't. Guys who get a right swipe will take a seat on one of these chairs. Guys who get a left swipe will fall into this ball pit of hideous rejection. OK? <laughs> So, here we go. That's okay. for you. Let's play Late Late Live Tinder. Bring out the first guy. <laughs> OK. OK, this is Cole. What are your first thoughts, Susan? Um, he's cute. Mm -hmm. He has nice hair. He has blue eyes. I think. I mean, say what you see, Susan. That's I what know, we do. That's what but I what's, but what's he's your... younger than I would normally. Younger than, than you yeah. normally go for. It's a it's a solid jawline. That's what I like about him. Okay. But Susan, it's not for me to decide. What do you think? Are you going to swipe right or swipe left? Well, oh, Carl, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Carl. <laughs> see it. Oh. <laughs> oh wow! 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 For a moment there. <laughs> For a moment there, we were sort of regretting it, and then he dabbed into the pool. Yeah, no, no. And everyone thought, you've made the right choice, <laughs> Susan. OK, let's bring out our next contestants. OK. OK. I like James a lot. What's your first thoughts about, uh, about James over here? James is cute. No doubt about that. And I think underneath that T-shirt, he is absolutely ripped. <laughs> I really do. I think you could grate cheese on his abs. I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel it. I really, really can. For sure. What are you thinking, Susan? Are you swiping right or left? It's up to you. I'll swipe right. Oh, take a seat, James! <laughs> Let's bring out our next contestant. God. <laughs> I swear to God, Susan, if you don't do it, I will. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> oh, good moves, buddy. Let's bring out our next contestant. OK, Justin. <laughs> OK. I, uh, Justin, does your wife know you're here today? <laughs> there is no... <laughs> okay. Justin looks like a sort of lawyer in a kid's movie who turns mm -hmm. out to be the bad guy. <laughs> um, what, are your, what are your first thoughts? Um, I like the jacket. Do you? Nah. <laughs> Uh, sorry, Justin. No, well, hang on, wait. Don't, don't wait. <laughs> don't, hang on. Listen, you pay the man the respect he deserves. Okay. He took a break from hosting Survivor That's... to be here today. 
<laughs> what are you gonna do? Swipe left or right? Sorry, Justin. Bring it, buddy. Goodbye. Let's bring our next contestant. Okay. Mark is 64, and I can't work out whether Mark has been unemployed for 20 years or he's a billionaire. I don't know. It's hard to say. He's got billionaire energy. Yeah. I know that. I know that. What are your thoughts? I do like a good, solid silver fox. Silver fox? I do love it. I was a... thinking yeah. that too. His, his badge says 64. His eyes say 69. <laughs> <laughs> are you swiping right or left? It's up to you, Susan. No, I'll I'm... go right. No, go take the seat, please. <laughs> Let's bring out our next contestant. Oh, Tommy. <laughs> I don't know if Tommy can play an instrument. He looks like it. If he doesn't, he lies about whether he does. That's yeah, what I know. Sure. Yes. <laughs> but what are our thoughts? Susan, are we going right or left? Sorry, oh, Tommy. Oh, I'm sorry, Tommy. Look, he's devastated, <laughs> Susan. All right. Let's bring out our next contestant. <laughs> Hi, Peter. You can't speak, Peter. <laughs> you can't speak. Peter looks like a sort of... I don't know what Peter does for a living, mm -hmm. but it wouldn't surprise me if he was a YouTube magician. Oh! You know? I see like, that. It wouldn't, like, he do, he's got that energy. Yeah. You know sure. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Suddenly he goes to get in the car and pulls a sheet and the whole thing's not there. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, he's fit, he's healthy. What are your thoughts? I'm... Let's keep him. Oh, Peter, take a seat! <laughs> OK. Now... You've filled the seats, uh -huh. the seats are full. However, we have one more Ooh. contestant. And if you were to prefer this contestant, you could swap out Peter, Mark or James for this contestant, okay? okay? okay. Let's bring out our last contestant. <laughs> Chris. Thank you for being here at what I can only imagine is a busy time of year. <laughs> uh... <laughs> what are your thoughts, Susan? What do you think? Say something. Tell us what you're thinking. I like the sweater. Mm -hmm. And he's a cute guy. No question about that. But is he cuter than Peter or Mark? <laughs> sorry, Chris. Oh, I'm sorry, Chris. Stop back. But look, it does mean we can get rid of that okay. because we have our final three contestants. <laughs> All right, now, here's the thing, Susan. We've seen what they've looked like. Mm -hmm. We've seen what they look like, but we can now ask them a question, okay? You can ask one question which all three will answer. Okay. What sort of thing do you think you want to know? What is the most romantic thing you've done for someone? Okay, so what is the most romantic thing you've done for someone? Peter, introduce yourself and answer the question. Uh, hello, my name is Peter, and the most romantic thing that I've ever done, um, I offered to move to Oklahoma to be with my ex. Oh, wow. <laughs> and if you've ever been to Oklahoma... How'd that work out? Well, I'm here now. <laughs> Okay, Mark, introduce yourself and answer the question. Yeah, hi, my name is Mark. Um, I love just to be very spontaneous, whatever I do. Mm -hmm. And it's really the flow of the moment, how I feel. So it's just a different people I get a different vibe from. Um, but I'd say setting up the candles down the beach, walking down the beach hand in hand, and then having someone cook a little barbecue in the uh -huh. fire pit down there. Definitely break out some cocktails, and we'll just go from there. OK. That was nice. And now let's go to James. James, please introduce yourself. And what is the ro most romantic thing you've ever done? Hello, Susan. My name is James. Hi. Hi. <laughs> well, it's, it's Christmas time, and the most romantic thing I've done was I staged a 12 days of Christmas for the lady that I was in a relationship with. So every day leading up to Christmas, I would have a special gift mm -hmm. or a special scavenger hunt thing that she would have to do oh. to go and find. And then on the 25th, 
That was when the big gift was revealed, and then she'd have all her other 11 gifts from the days prior. I mean... It's a lot. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> the time has come. Who are you gonna choose? Ah, this is hard. This is tough. One of the toughest things in my life. <laughs> <laughs> You're so uh, full of <laughs> <laughs> Susan, who's it gonna be? Um... James. James! <laughs> I'm so hard. Sorry, Peter. James, come on down. Come down and meet us. Give it up for James, everybody. <laughs> nice to see you. What a pleasure. Thank you for doing this. Susan, Hi, James. Hi. James. Hi. James. Susan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to I'm, meet I'm you. A hugger. I'm sorry. Oh, OK. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, go for it, James. OK, well, look, here's the thing, guys. Now the magic truly begins because we are sending you two lovebirds on a decadent date all the way down the hall. <laughs> to our corporate patio. I know, I know, yeah. we shouldn't have. Exciting. Off you go, we're gonna check, yeah, we're gonna check in with you later. Ladies and gentlemen, Susan and yeah. James. Yeah. That was Late Late Live Tinder, we'll be right back. Susan and her chosen date, James. <laughs> now, look, we are dying to know how it all went. Susan, did you have a nice time? We're both from Oklahoma. It's crazy. Stop. Yes. Went to the yes. same college also. Went to the same college. Actual chills. I know. <laughs> Actual hey. chills. James, did you have a good time? Was it a nice time? I had a great time with Susan. It was what awesome. What did you think of our corporate balcony? <laughs> a little chilly. James, but, uh, but we made it through. Okay. The conversation was warming. You know me. I know Susan. You know All right. Me. Well, listen, I have one last question for you. James, give me a hand. Susan, give me a hand. Okay, now listen, I want you both to be honest. There's no point doing this if you're not being honest. So on the count of three, I would like you both to say if you would like there to be a second date. So it's just a yes or a no. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Yes. yes. Oh! And there you have it. Love is in the air. Bless you, Susan. We love you so much. Thank you, James. You're an absolute star. I'll leave you to talk it out. Reggie, take us home.